Hey everyone, let's see, I have this big binder here that I keep a bunch of, uh, like, Power Ranger stuff in. Let's see, a couple of years ago when I was, like, getting super big back into Power Rangers and I was watching all the old seasons, I was writing down all the stuff I thought was, like, kind of weird or didn't make sense. There's so much of it. <laughs> like, uh, and the biggest reason is because it's been controlled by so many different people over the years, different companies, different writers, different producers, different directors, all with their own ideas about what they think the show should be, what would make it the best, what what if they don't want it to be the best, which could be a potential uh, thing once in a while. Um, so anyway, one of the things I always thought was really funny was in the last episode of Mystic Force, Genji says his middle name is Marcus. Okay. So Genji's middle name is Marcus. What's Genji then? Is that his first name or his last name? I don't know. Let's see, I remember there was an how was it? He came from like a race of cat people. And uh, there was another one. What was his name? There was like a, an evil cat person that like kicked him out of his town or wherever he lived. I can't remember what that one's name was, but I think that one only had one name, too. Anyway, that was a weird thing in Mystic Force that w didn't come from the Japanese version. Like, I kept thinking that, oh, okay, so he had a similar story in Maji Ranger, but I've seen Maji Ranger. No, he, like, uh, Smokey, Genji's counterpart, he's just, I think he's just supposed to be a genie. He doesn't come from, like, a race of cat people. If anything, he's from a race of genie. So anyway, yeah. Is Genji his first or last name if Marcus is his middle name? I know, like, the real reason, like, why that line's there is not to, like, expand on his character or anything. It's just a dumb throwaway joke. Disney did a lot of weird, dumb throwaway jokes that, like, to someone like me who overthinks things and doesn't always get jokes the first time, uh, like, I think it's actual information. Like, in Ninja Storm, when Mar and Capri say to Lothor... You're our uncle, and he says, only by marriage. And so I was like, okay, well then, who did he marry? Because they never show a wife there, or husband, or whatever, whatever he's into. And, uh, let's see. Well, what about his, uh, brother, uh, Kanoi Watanabe? He was married with a wife. They had one kid, Cam. Cam's never been off Earth. He has no relation to Marin Capri, as far as I can tell. Uh, unless Cam's mother was an alien. Are the Boom Comics going to write a whole story about how Cam's mother was actually an alien? I could see that happening. <laughs> I just watched uh, To the Tenth Power, the uh, Lost Galaxy and Space team-up where they brought the Psycho Rangers back to life. And it's funny, after reading The Psychopath, the comic book, which was all about uh, Caron trying to rehabilitate the Psycho Rangers, that was a... that was dumb. That was really dumb. <laughs> it was such a dumb, stupid comic. Like, I can see why people would like it. Like, it was well written, it's just... Like, in context, it's really... It's a dumb idea. And I also didn't like the the alien... The, uh, the Psycho Rangers are... They, that they were people. I liked it better when they were, like, just monsters that were given, like, Power Ranger powers. There's a... That... B again. Okay, now he's gone. Oh, now he's back. Hi. Eh, it doesn't seem to be bothering anything. Okay, anyway. So yeah, the Psycho Rangers... Uh, what, what what was their origin? One of the cool things is that some of them, uh, when she's trying to rehabilitate them, they're in their human forms from, uh, from Power Rangers in space when they're tracking down the Rangers and they're in human disguises. It turns out those were like... Not disguises, those were what they actually looked like before they were brainwashed and turned evil, or turned evil, or whatever. Ah. Hurts sitting on that rock for so long. Um, hmm. Trying to think of more weird things. Oh, also, like, when I was getting back into Power Rangers, it was, uh, around Overdrive, I think. Let's see, and Once a Ranger, I watch Once a Ranger a lot, and I wrote down, like, all the weirdness surrounding that one. There's a lot of weird things in Once a Ranger. And then, uh, Jungle Fury, like, kind of, I don't know, Jungle Fury was kind of boring for me. There weren't a lot of references to the past. 
uh, it was a very self-contained season, and it was kind of a bland season to me. Like, it was fine, it's just nothing really new going on. RPM I really loved. RPM was great. It had its own weird things, and I wrote a bunch of stuff about that. Let's see, and then uh, the Reversion series came, and okay, nothing new there. Uh, then uh, Samurai. Samurai had some cool stuff. I wrote a whole thing about uh, Spike and Skull, and like, why is Spike as old as he is in Samurai? Because Samurai is supposed to be, uh, what was it? Like, it's only like 15 years after Mighty Morphin ends, isn't it? Like, it's not that far into the future. Or maybe it is. Who knows? That's something weird. When I was watching Dino Thunder, originally Tommy, he's supposed to be, like, really old, isn't he? Like, way older than he actually is in real life. Jason Frank, he was only, like, he was barely 30, wasn't he, in Dino Thunder? But the character in the show was supposed to be a lot older, but then they kind of went back on that and made him younger again. Yeah, weird. Again, it's that thing with, like, different writers, different, like, intentions for, like, what would make the show best. Yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. I just want to, like, occasionally talk about weird Power Ranger things that I think of. And the main thing was, is Genji his first or last name? If Marcus is his middle name... And what is the other name that he has? Is it Smokey? Genji Marcus Smokey. Smokey Genji. Smokey Marcus Genji. Who knows? That's all for this one. Bye.